This is part 1 of Visual Studio Tips and Tricks. In this video, we'll discuss how to remove unused usings, will performance be an issue if there are unused usings, and the benefits of removing unused usings. Let's understand removing unused usings with an example. Here I've got a simple console application. Within the main method, notice that we are making use of two types, that is string builder and console class. String builder is present in system.text namespace, console class is present in system namespace. But if you look at the using declarations right here, we have a lot more than we actually need. We only need two namespaces on this code file. One is system namespace and the other one is system.text namespace. All the other using declarations are not used on this page. So how to get rid of these unused using declarations? The obvious choice that comes to our mind is to manually delete them. Now, deleting these unused namespaces manually, is it possible in a real-time application? Maybe not. Why? Because there could be hundreds of lines of code within a given CS file. And it may not be practically possible and feasible in terms of time to go through each type and then determine which namespace that type belonged to and then make a decision of whether to leave that namespace there or to remove it. Okay, so that's why Visual Studio provides us with an option to remove these unused namespaces. So simply right click anywhere on the code file. You have this choice, organize usings within the context menu. Once you hover the mouse over, notice that you get three choices here. When you select remove unused usings, it's going to remove all those unused usings. Look at that, it only um, left these two system and system.txt namespaces which we are actually using on this code file. Let's press Control Z to undo those changes and then inspect the other choices that we have. So the other choice is to simply sort the using statements. So when we select this choice, look at that, the using declarations are sorted in ascending order. And the final choice is obviously to remove the unused using statements and then sort the rest of them. Okay, so that's how we remove the unused using declarations. If you prefer to use keyboard shortcut to bring up the context menu, it is Shift F10. Let's actually undo the changes. So now when you press Shift F10, that's going to bring up the context menu. And notice that the organize usings option within this context menu, within that letter O is underlined, meaning the keyboard shortcut to select that menu item is letter O. So when I type letter O, that choice gets highlighted. And then if you want to select remove uh, unused usings, then it's letter R. So when I press letter R, look at that, it gets removed. So the keyboard shortcut is Shift F10 O R. Now, Will performance be an issue if there are unused usings? No, there won't be any impact on the actual application performance. The unused usings will simply be ignored. But what are the benefits of removing unused usings? There are few. Now, the obvious one is cleaner code. So now we have a few namespaces here that we are actually using within our code file, which means your code is easy to read and maintain. IntelliSense runs faster as there are less items to look through. Now let's actually undo these changes. So we have, you know, several namespaces here. And now look at this. For example, when I type str, there are, you know, a lot of items loaded which starts with str. For example, stream reader, stream writer. So stream reader, if you look at the namespace, it belongs to system.io. Why is IntelliSense loading that here? Because we have that using declaration right here. Okay, and then string class is present in system namespace. So we have system namespace here, that's why it's also loaded. String builder is present in system.txt namespace. So we have that using declaration here, that's why it's loaded as well. Now let's actually comment this using uh, system.io. Now if we bring up IntelliSense by pressing control space, notice that stream reader and stream writer are not loaded now. Okay, so removing unused usings will make IntelliSense run faster because there are only, um, you know, there are less items to look through and load them. This also means the developer has few options to select from. And obviously, we'll also get faster compilation because the compiler has fewer namespaces to look, uh, to look up types to resolve. And it's all, it also avoids name 
collision in the future when new types are added to the unused namespaces that have the same name as some type in the used namespace. So what do we mean by that? Let's say for example at the moment we are using system.text namespace and we are using string builder class from that namespace. Now if you look at system.security for example, you know, we are not using any class that belong to system.security namespace. Now let's say in the future Microsoft decides it wants to use a class within system.security, uh, you know, with the same name as string builder. Now since this namespace and this namespace is present within this code file and system.security also now has a class with the same name that is string builder okay now when you build this in the future after you have upgraded to the latest version of the dotnet framework in which they have introduced string builder within system.security namespace when you build the solution obviously you are going to get a compilation error and why is that because there is an ambiguity on this type so to which namespace this type actually belong to? Do you um, intend to use the string builder class that's present in system.text namespace or system.security namespace? Okay, so if you don't have this using statement here, you will not have that name collision. Okay, so removing unused um, namespaces may avoid name collision in the future as well. Okay, so those are the benefits of removing unused usings. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.